I survived. The trip was amazing. Okay, so after my last video I just made, a lot of you were wondering how my Walt Disney World vacation went. Uh, I just returned home earlier this week, and in this video I'm going to tell you all about it. Last week's video definitely received a lot of attention. Um, I, I, <laughs> most of it was positive, which is great. Uh, some people were confused as to why I changed my dates. I didn't have to. I chose to. Uh, I chose to so my children weren't out of school for the spring break that they were supposed to be on and then an additional week off from high school. Uh, did I need to do that? No, I didn't. But I'm glad it worked out in my favor because I was able to stay at the beach club. We stayed club level. Um, I'll do a review on the club level up in the beach club uh, in, in a few weeks. But um, I just wanted to talk about the trip because <laughs> For those of you that watched the video last week, um, I was concerned that I didn't get a few fast passes. I mean, like whip de doo right? Big picture? It's not a big deal. But I really did want to get some fast passes for my family since they have not experienced Flight of Passage and Slinky Dog Dash, etc. I was able to get all the other fast passes that I knew my family would want except for those two because <laughs> I, didn't real I didn't realize I was making the... Uh, reservation on the incorrect spring break week for my family. It's just, uh, I didn't look at the dates. Whatever. No big deal. Anywho, let me tell you how the trip was because I am home, I survived, and I'm smiling, which can only mean one thing. It was an amazing trip. So yes, we did travel to Walt Disney World over spring break, which is a very busy time of year to travel, obviously. Um, but we survived. And with some pro tips and some feedback from you guys, I was able to do everything that I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, I, am, I am just thrilled. Uh, the resort is beautiful. The Beach Club Resort's beautiful. Club level is fantastic. Um, I upgraded to an annual pass while I was down there and Hold on, someone's texting me here. It's my son. Anywho, all right. Um, I upgraded my park pass to an annual pass uh, because my annual pass expired in November and I didn't renew it because I wasn't gonna go back until, well, now, April. So I upgraded my, my tickets to an annual pass. You can do that um, at guest relations at any of the theme parks. And I also picked up a Tables in Wonderland card. You can buy this if you are a DVC member or an annual pass holder, or I think even a Florida resident. I bought it obviously with my annual pass. It's a, it's a discount for uh, food and dining at participating restaurants in Walt Disney World. It cost $150 for myself and my family. Well, no, I mean, it was just $150, but I can use it for my family. That one, that one Tables in Wonderland card. Uh, <laughs> I saved so much money by getting that card. Again, the card cost $150. I saved over $300 with discounts on dining and alcohol, because that actually is discounted as well for my trip, because there were four of us. So it really, was a good savings. And that card is good for, I think it's 13 months. It's, I think she said mine is good until May of 2020. And I got it in April of 2019. So I was really excited about that. So I was happy about that. And um, so I love being an annual pass holder again, obviously. But I think the most exciting part of my trip, besides the amazing restaurants we went to, and I will be doing a review on the signature Aww. restaurants. Those are my dogs barking. I will do a review on the signature restaurants and the regular, uh, other regular restaurants we went to visit uh, on my trip in a future video. But guys, I think the most exciting part is, did I get to ride Flight of Passage or Slinky Dog Dash? 
uh, I will start with Slinky Dog Dash. I was able to get a same day fast pass for Slinky Dog Dash, not one time, but two times. Very exciting, yes. Uh, so once I had used all three of my already reserved fast passes for the day, you are able to get an additional fast pass, use that and then get an additional fast pass, use that, you know, etc. Uh, I was able to, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. I think every day we were there, again, during the busiest time, one of the busiest times during the year, I was able to, I think, the minimum fast passes for the whole day was, was at least seven. So at least three additional fast passes. Some days I got four or five additional fast passes. So I did Slinky Dog Dash twice with my family and... We did Flight of Passage with a fast pass. I refused to wait in the 240 minute standby wait times. I refused. I just thought my time was more valuable than standing in line that long. I was able to get Flight of Passage for the four of us on, I think it was, it was closer to the end of our trip. When I got that fast pass, my husband thought something was wrong with me because I'm on my My Disney Experience account on my phone constantly refreshing. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Okay, pro tip, pro tip. Don't give up because fast passes change from minute to minute to minute. It's really crazy. Um, so constantly refresh. Uh, and I found out, I think it was like 5 p.m. and I was able to get a flight of passage for between seven and eight. And I knew we had, <laughs> we were going to California Grill that night for dinner, like say at six. And I was like, we are making this happen. So uh, we were able to dine at California Grill. Oh my God, best food ever. And then we headed, we took an Uber or a Lyft. I think it was a Lyft uh, directly to Animal Kingdom to be able to make our flight of passage fast pass. And that was the best gift because that is my favorite ride. I think it's most everyone's favorite ride who has experienced it at least once. It's hard to describe that ride. You know, I think I've probably ridden it now maybe eight, nine times. Uh, and it still takes my breath away. So I was so thrilled to be able to share that gift with my family to, to ride a flight of passage. And so that happened. So here's the thing. Yes. Although my trip dates changed um, and I had to redo all of my fast passes, say 45 days before my trip, right? When other people had already booked theirs, all the good rides were all taken. I was still able to get those rides done and experienced with fast passes because I was smart about using my extra fast passes and constantly updating and refreshing my my Disney Experience account. So if you don't necessarily see the fast pass ride that you want, don't give up. Keep refreshing. There were some times when it was a little absurd. I, I will admit. I think I was refreshing for like an hour. Well, that's so ridiculous. I don't recommend doing that, um, especially if it's your first trip. I mean, here's the thing. Like you're gonna get an extra fast pass. Just get the next available fast pass and then try again. Um, so anyway, this is getting a little longer than I wanted it to. I just wanted to do a quick-ish video and say, I survived, the trip was amazing. Uh, I cannot wait to go back again. I'm taking my, my sons uh, in a few months um, and I cannot wait. And uh, if you're ever in the same situation that I was in, where maybe you booked your trip last minute and you have to kind of deal with the remaining fast passes that are available and you can't get everything that you really want, don't worry. More than likely, if you are really good using your My Disney Experience account, you can get those two on your trip on that same day after you've used your, your three fast passes already. So, um, great trip. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share with you my restaurant reviews, my the resort hotel review, um, my thoughts on 
um, Flower and Garden Festival in Epcot. Just my thoughts all, all around. I mean, did I see the Skyliner going? All these things. These are going to be upcoming videos. I did vlog some. It's much harder to vlog with a family when you want to be present with your family. So I did vlog some and I will be sharing those in the weeks to come as well. So I hope you guys stick around. Um, please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be home. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next Disney video, Coral Joy Travel, A Touch of Magic, Sharing Joy. Bye guys.